Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Does Play 4 v 4 Pro Series here on PlayStation. And we have uh, the two squads going up against each other here in the semi-finals. It is going to be hashtag back-to-back -back up against Innovate Blue. Back-to-back -back will consist of Shlomo Slayer, Deceived AU, Zeppistar, and Wester Daddy. And on the other side, we've got Frenzy G, Poseidon, Faken, and Dazzle Frazzle. There on the side of Innovate Blue. Now, looking at the bands of Protect, we've got the M8 Protect straight away. The 48 Dredge also protected in the first round. Then we're looking to get into those bands. So, Vespa taken away. Long Barrel taken away to try and force those players on the uh, on the submachine guns to make sure that they get close and try and make it an AR heavy map there by Faken. UAV is taken out. Rapid Fire is taken out by Zeppa Star. And now we've got two more players. Make that one more player left to uh, put in their band. So, Kinetic Armor and Counter UAV are going to be taken away here for this fringe hard point to start off with. Guys, if you don't know me, I am Lockdog, and this is the Does Play stream, dozplay.com slash events for all your events on Call of Duty and so many other games that I'm not even going to bother going through them, guys. But getting into the specialist draft, obviously we've got the uh, Ruin Overdrive there for Slow Mo Slayer. Then we've got... Uh, the War Machine coming out of Frenzy G. So we'll see if he can uh, get those, get get enough kills, get get some uh, get the War Machine out and see what he can do, especially around that middle hard point will be uh, very, very important. And even down on the train side, just to uh, spam down towards the other end where the other team is spawning. Again, a War Machine comes out from Deceived, very important on this map. Uh, the Annihilator coming out from Poseidon. We've got a Vision Pulse from Faken. And a scythe from Zeppistar. Then we've got the gravity spikes from West Daddy trying to break those hard points. However, I'm not sure which hard points is going to be the most important there for those gravity spikes. Maybe in the grannies, but we'll see how that goes in an overdrive also on the side for Dazzle Frazzle. So, guys, that's uh, that's going to be how the banner protect and the specialist draft has come out. Obviously, um, for those who just missed the start of it, um, we had a M8 protected, so that one will be we'll be seeing a bit out of that. We also saw a Vespa ban; that one's gone as well. Long barrel also gone, so we're probably not going to see a lot of long range subby fights. If you if you want to go long range, if you want to control that mid side of the map, you're going to have to get those ARs out. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see a two AR two subby set up there for these guys we've got no kinetic armor in the game as that was banned away and also the uav and the counter uav have both been uh taken away so just waiting on the players to uh reset their classes see exactly what they want to do with uh with these ones obviously they have to uh, adjust depending on how that ban and protect went down and i've got to say i love the uh re-edition obviously at the start of the game you were able to do it then they took it away but the banning of attachments during the ban and protect phase is such an important thing it just can help create that sort of uh that counter pick strategy in that sort of one. So we're just waiting on the players to edit their score streaks. Obviously, County UAV and UAV were both banned out, so they may have to uh, edit them out there, but shouldn't take too long there for that one. But it's it will be interesting to see how teams go, whether, you know, if, if an M8 gets uh, locked in, whether teams are going to try and take away that stock or take away a red dot sight so they, they have a little bit more trouble using that gun that is so powerful at the moment. But also the same sort of thing with subbies. We saw the Vespa uh, taken away along with the long barrel. So it's going to make a lot of the subbies, which other than the Vespa, are usually fairly difficult to use at range anyway, even more difficult. Maybe the Razorback might come into play here on some of the hard points, maybe just swapping between classes depending on where they are on the map at the time. But we're getting into the game, and we'll see how both of these teams are going to go. Um, we'll see how, uh, both teams are going to come into this one, how they're going to start off on this one for those guys that, uh, don't know which teams are playing, which will bring it up there on the screen. Apparently that's, uh, does play all stars versus darkness, which is incorrect. I'll get that one updated for you guys as soon as possible, but it is back to back up against innovate 
Blue. And we're going to jump on board with Faken, it seems, to start off with and see exactly what he can do. He will drop and will now be on board with Dazzle Frazzle. And see if he can pick up any kills with this M8A7. He's got the red dot on it. He's putting a lot of shots out long. But 21 points to zero before the first points on the board come back. So we're going to uh, bring the scoreboard in, I hope. As... We'll bring that one into play now. There we go. Back to back versus Innovate. And we've got him on the wrong, uh, the correct side, which is great to see. As we'll uh, stay on board with Dazzle Frazzle. He's one and one at the moment. We'll be able to find one. Just sitting on this middle hard point for the uh, remaining little bit of time. Going to poke out. Sees one. West is going to be able to pick up that kill. Nice work by Westy to pick up a couple of kills there. Going to find a couple but not gonna uh find any tags as he will take down one looking for another one he's on a three kill streak at the moment turns around with the l car we'll be able to get an assist there waiting for someone to push they're not going to at the moment he's just holding this hill very very well we'll get taken down now on to deceive let's see what he can do currently with a vmp and we might have a look at some of his uh his attachments there on that one. FMJ, quick draw and grip there for him as he picks up yet another kill there on Hill. 55 to 22. 4 minutes 24 on the clock. But for those who haven't played hardpoint too much on the new game, obviously it's been out for a little while, but the clock will not tick over if there are players in the hill and holding onto it. If it is contested, if both teams are in the hill, it will tick down. If there's no one there, it will as well. But as long as one team controls it, then the clock will stop. So you're going to see a lot of teams try uh, will reach that score limit of 250. It also allows for some fairly amazing comebacks here as we are on board here with Zepper as he's 12 and 6. He's got that M8A7 and is absolutely dominating here at the start of this one as he will get that one burst nicely. Get another kill there on Poseidon over that side. Knows that they're going to be spawning out there. Will pick up another one on Frenzy G. Got his streak there. He's got a Guardian, in fact, for himself as he's uh, also got the Scythe ready. So he will be able to just control these spawns and make sure that this, uh, this other team will be forced away. Uh, Zeppa's trying to push into the hill, will be able to do so. And will also get his sentry gun up there for his kill streak. So he's uh, definitely going to have to, or going to be able to hold this next hill very, very well. If he doesn't decide to use them on this hill, he will be able to hold that midsection of the map and just make sure that his team continue to hold that lead that they have at the moment. But it does seem that the team of Innovate Blue, they're trying to come back here. Frenzy will be able to put out some shots, but not going to be able to get the kill there as he does get taken down. Currently is contested. Faken on the hill. Let's see if he can get some kills. We'll be able to find one. Doesn't get the second one, though, as he goes down and deceived. He's also going to be able to pick up a kill there. Frenzy getting some kills down with the War Machine. Gets a couple before getting taken down. In fact, Poseidon taking down Zipperstar with a kill there. It looked like a team kill there on the kill feed. Didn't seem to. Just uh, at the uh, precise time I swapped over teams. So Poseidon, that slide catches him out and he's going to get taken down in fact from behind from behind i believe by uh westy and we'll see poseidon find one there on zeppa and it looks like there's a sentry gun here in the window he's going to be able to get behind it put some shots into it and just try and uh, shut this one down force his team away from it gets the annihilator out and uh, going to take down that sentry as he looks for some more kills got two shots left make that one can he find a player before it runs out of time doesn't seem like he can but he did shut down that sentry which was very very important now we've got even more kill streaks coming out and uh, a player actually uh, lagging out, deceived, is going to be back in the lobby, though, very, very quickly. 111 to 91, 20 points the difference, as West is going to find one, get taken down. Dazzle Frazzle with the two-piece there to keep his team in control of the hard point. They're trying to come back. They're within 12, make that 11 points now, as Fagan's just trying to... Uh, 
stays safe by staying up high there on the walls, but he jumps out in the middle and uh, the kill streaks just shutting him down on that hill at the moment. Now they're going to have to rotate. There's only two seconds left on this middle hard point. Frenzy's actually going to go towards mid and try and pick up some kills. We'll be able to find one. Can he get in the window? No, he can't. Gets taken down. And Deceive's actually going to pick up a two-piece there on the map, which was important to uh, make sure that this part of the map was safe for Westy to push into. He will be able to get the kill on Fake and now Deceived will be able to slide away. He knows there's one there. Gets the headshot with the L car taking down Frenzy is now Westy. He's just going to hold this middle part of the map, not allow anyone to get through this room, and that's going to mean they have to go all the way around and contest from the back, and that is not the situation you want to be in here for these two teams. Is uh Westy's just staying inside, doesn't want to go outside. Let's jump on board with the other team, see what they're going to try and do. There's 16 seconds left. Looks like they're trying to rotate at the moment as Faken actually goes down. Dazzle Frazzle also down, and Poseidon. Let's see if he can get inside. No, he can't. Does get taken down. And yet again, Zeppastar, those kill streaks just doing a whole heap of work. Player actually outside the map. And Frenzy's able to take him down anyway as he was uh, getting counted down to whether he was going to be able to get through. And that Guardian doing huge work to keep players away from contesting this side. And it makes it so easy for a player to just sit in that window, get kills left, right, and center. And they just keep trying to run through it, trying to get over it and around the corner. But they just can't get through. And gets taken down. And I've got to say that it just uh, does not look good here for Innovate Blue. As uh, back to back, uh, just holding on to this one well, especially since Deceived has come back into the game. It was 3v4 there for a little bit. He was able to get in pretty quickly. Is Frenzy not able to use that uh, war machine to its best effect in those dual wield L cars from Faken picking up a nice two piece before getting dropped. There is, uh, it looks like there is going to be a couple of uh, more seconds of worth of points on that last hard point before it rotates around towards the trains and we'll see how both teams are going to play this one as uh, Deceive. Just going to throw out a couple of uh, trophy systems to make sure his team's safe from any of na any of the uh, grenades coming in as he will poke out, pick up a two-piece. Zeppa's actually going to take one down for himself as well. So that's three down, and they're getting very, very close to this 250. But as we saw, three minutes left on the clock. So one team has had control of the hard point for most of the game. It hasn't been contested a lot. Hasn't been free a lot for either team to hold it. So we'll see whether the team of Innovate can turn this one around, get some points, but it does look like back-to-back. -back. They only need 12 points left to win this one. Let's see if they can do it. The 48 dredge that was protected by the team of Innovate. Faken was able to get that out and get one kill, but did get taken down soon after. And it's uh, out again, but they all just dropped. Deceived with the two-piece. Poseidon picking up Deceived in reply. But there it is. The 250 comes up. And uh, 250 to 118. It will be back-to-back. -back. They're going to take out this first map and move on to the, uh, the second map in the game. 1-0 up in the series. It will be a best of five, so... We will, uh, we will be seeing at least two more maps here in this one. As we'll find out how the players are going with uh, Zeppa. 4,870 points. Definitely the MVP there in that match. The next closest was 2,800. Just a dominant performance. 46 and 20 with um, almost two minutes in the hill. 11 defends just uh, easily cleaning up there on that map so guys we are going to go to a little bit of a break i believe before the next map gets underway but do not go anywhere because uh the first map showed the back-to-back -back a very very strong team one to watch out for but definitely uh definitely not innovate blues uh, best performance but they can come back they can uh, they can get some uh, points on the next couple of games because we at least have two more maps left to go a possible four still from this point it's currently 1-0 to the team of a back to back so guys don't go anywhere because uh this match will be returning right after the break
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have, uh, it's going to be game number two here. Redwood Search and Destroy. We see Vespa M8 Rapid Fire all protected straight away in the first three. Uh, protects their extended mags. Going to be banned out there by Wester Daddy. And we've got four more bands or protects to come in. More likely to be bands down lower in the game as we have uh, Innovate Blue up against Back to Back as a player times out, which is not what you want here at the start. UAV has been banned away by Deceived, which uh, isn't really a surprise there. Poseidon, uh, sorry, Shlomo is going to take down the MR6. And we see Poseidon waiting for 100% sure on the ruling um, if a player lags out during the ban and protect phase, whether we'll have to uh, end it and restart or whether we're just going to have to continue on with that player not being able to get a, uh, a ban or a protect. I believe due to time restrictions, we may have to continue on uh, as it looks like Poseidon deciding not to ban or protect. So specialist draft coming in and we'll see what these uh, players are going to be in for it will be interesting to see if a player joins halfway through they haven't done their specialist draft what specialist they will be given um by default so uh well we will have to see exactly what happens but uh for now we've seen zeppistar on that reaper with scythe and that'll be obviously important in holding down a position, especially once you've planted that bomb. Active camo given to uh, Frenzy by default, as you didn't select. As we'll see, uh, Ruin Overdrive given to West. And Kinetic Armor given over to Faken. Kinetic Armor also over to Deceived, as it wasn't banned out this time. was last match, but... Teams deciding to go for it, especially if you can get in there and uh, even go for that diffuse while the kinetic armor is on. Then it's uh, hugely important or contest contest one of the bomb sites, contest a power position on the map. Then definitely an important thing to have while uh, while going for that most important contest on the map. Poseidon looking like he's not going to uh, choose anything. Decides to go with the hive there for himself on that side. And Shlomo, let's let's see what he finishes up with. Last player to uh, get his selection, the Annihilator, will come out for him. So trying to get a few kills in one of the rounds here, or maybe a couple if it goes a little bit longer. So it looks like uh, the entire back-to-back -back team are all ready with their creator class. We'll see whether the other team, Innovate, is going to be also ready. So both teams just uh, just getting ready for this creator class. It will be interesting to see uh, how these teams play it, whether Innovator are going to go slow 3v4. Um, if if it indeed is continued on. But uh, we will find out whether whether we uh, whether, whether we have the player get back into this game. Uh, so we'll just be waiting up for one more player to get ready. I think they're just working out whether they uh, whether they have to end or whether they are going to continue with uh, with this game. Obviously, it is uh, it's a long process. But both teams uh, obviously have a bit of time to work out exactly what the goal is. Looks like most players are, uh, are readying up those score streaks, seeing exactly what they are going to be doing. It looks like uh, 
looks like we're going to be continuing into a 3v4, but it does, does it is up to uh, the, the teams to find that out in the rule set, see exactly what the ruling is there on that one check with an admin, but I believe they will be playing it out at this stage from my understanding anyway. But that uh, that may not be the official ruling. That's sort of just what I believe the players are going to be doing at this stage of the game. So 4v3 here, possibly, to start off this search and destroy. It is going to be back-to-back -back that already do have a, an important lead coming in to this one as we'll uh, bring up the scoreboard and show you that back-to-back -back already with that one point on the board. Board Faken doesn't seem to be uh, too happy about the uh, 3v4, but they will be playing it out anyway, looking towards this B side as shooting each other in the back. Probably not the best way to start off a round. If you're already a player down, will they be able to see that player out to the left? Frenzy just going to run straight past him, go up top, find one, and uh, it looks like Faken's actually going to take down Zeppa as well. So two players down already. They know that there's one in mid. Shots go out. Westy's going to pick up the kill there nicely as he sees a second one, going to pick up another kill there on that one. So now he's going to have to back off. As it looks like Poseidon in a 1v2 situation against Westerdaddy and Shlomo. Just checking all his angles. Bomb is down, and that's not what you want. As we will he see that player jumping up to the window? Doesn't look like it. It looks like he's just going to wait, but I don't feel like anyone's going to be uh, poking him too hard as they've found the bomb, so they're just going to be looking after this one. There's a player behind him. Can he get the turn? He turns around. Can he find that kill? 20 seconds as he's just working his way around towards the bomb site. Player is there. Gets the two-piece. How did he jump in and get that kill? That is actually ridiculous to find that piece of, uh, of play that is just not good enough by the team of back-to-back. -back. A team that dominated in the hard point and had a 4v3 in that round, and they dropped too early. Then they got two back with Westy's two-piece. That was a, a extremely good two-piece there by him. But... They had 2v1 situation. Both players were in the same room as the bomb, and somehow he jumped in, grabbed the bomb, got a kill, got out without dying, without hardly even getting tagged at all. And he, he got the clutch, got the 2v1, as he worked his way around towards the bomb side. It was just, just amazing how that exactly happened. Therefore, that one Poseidon, I think he saw the player at the last second, but he'd already moved back as he uh, as he realized what he saw. So he does go down. Bomb has been planted there by back-to-back -back as Innovate just looking for a player. Checking that corner. Doesn't find him. Looking the other side. There is one there. Will he be able to find that kill? Won't be able to get it straight away. The Vesper is available. And good use of the wall run around the side. Uh, yeah, he used that to his advantage, definitely. He was able to boost around, wall run around the tree, and then get a better angle on him and protect himself while he regen just enough health to be able to go in for that contest. And we see 1-1 one, one so far on the scoreboard. Innovate, they still have a 3v4 situation to play out, as I believe they are still trying to get their last player back in to the game. They're just waiting for it as Poseidon does get taken down. Try to get that player down as Westy will pick up one. It's faking to pick up one more kill. Going to have to go back and get that bomb, but he is in a 1v3. Is he just going to wait for a player to try and flank? Does seem like that's the case. There is a player over on that A side. Doesn't look like anyone's going. Did he see? Is there's a... Uh HCXD coming in. We'll be able to take that kill down. Is the player going to push him? He sees one there on the bomb site. We'll be able to pick up that kill. They try and box him in now. Is he going to be able to find the kill? Yes, he is. Takes down Shlomo as well. So this is three kills so far here for Faken. 1v4 he was left in, I believe. And he's just got to find his way around this 1v1 situation. He is 
on that attacking side, but he does have the bomb in hand. He is going to get flanked here. Will the players see him, or is he going to be able to get around and get this contest right? He's going to be able to get across towards this B side, go for that plan, and it looks like Westy's actually going to be rotating across towards the wrong bomb site. He checked around B, didn't see him, went back towards A, and we're going to see a 1v1 situation here. Fakin just sitting on the inside here, waiting for Westy to push up. Let's see what he can do. He is in the window, and Fakin gets the 1v4 there on the attacking side, and Clutch Mania really so far in this game. Two clutches in three rounds here for the team of Innovate Blue. That is just uh, some impressive work. There by him, and uh, we've got some uh, some work on our hands to see where the back-to-back -back can can come back into this match because it really does look like they uh, they're struggling to get their attacking rounds. They got an easy round just because of their man advantage, and now Shlomo is able to pick up one, and Zepp is able to pick up another one. Frenzy's actually back in. The match, uh, sorry, Dazzle Frazzle's back in the match. So Poseidon, he has picked up one kill there on Zeppa. So he's got a 3v1 clutch to get. He had a 4v1. He goes down, but now it's a 4v4. And they've already won two rounds, 3v4 on attack, just due to some amazing clutching. If they can keep that up, but also get some rounds on defense by having that 4v4 situation, then I definitely think they're going to be... Uh, Looking to take out this S&D. They probably have the upper hand at the moment. But we'll see how both teams are going to play out this one. We'll jump on board with Dazzle Frazzle. Straight back into the match. Looks like he's got overdrive as his, uh, as his specialist. And he's going to be going straight through mid. Going for a little bit of a swim. And going straight up in to the top side of this one. Will he be able to go around the corner and try and find a kill? There is a player down the bottom. As they just wait, Shlomo's able to take down Fake and Bomb has been planted. Dazzle Frazzle looks like he was uh, AFK, in fact, didn't react to that at all. Poseidon able to pick up one as Zeppa, uh, sorry, Poseidon able to t take down another one there on Zeppa. So a uh, 2v2 situation. Frenzy goes down, and Poseidon is in a 1v2 now. Sees one in mid, gets sniped there by Shlomo Slayer and taken down. So Wester Daddy is going to be able to get that defuse. And the 4v4 seemed to uh, be a bit of a false sense of security there for the Innovate. They were able to take down the first two attacking rounds for themselves. 3v4, and as soon as they get their fourth player in, they uh not able to pull it out there. But it was a nice push over onto that B-bomb to get that bomb down early. If, uh, if Poseidon was able to react quick enough and get that kill, it would have been a much better round for them to take but we'll find out how these uh, players are going to do it on this attack side Zeppastar pushing through looking for the players over on this side there's players all around Westy he's going to try and find a kill we'll be able to do so Dazzle Frazzle takes down Zeppa as Fakin's actually going to take down Shlomo and it makes it a 2v2 situation uh, as a player goes down there. That's going to be Poseidon going down to the kill streak. So Dazzle Frazzle back in the match. And we'll see whether he can uh, get into this one as he's got a 2v1 clutch to make. His teammates have been getting clutches while he's been gone. We'll be able to find one. Sees one in mid. Going to be able to get away from that contest. Gets the second kill. Great contest back. The Seed was in no position to contest that one and was trying to get away in the end. Sees a player there out in the open. Knew he could contest with the M8. And the Seed knew he had to get away. So good play by Dazzle Frazzle to uh, keep control of that situation. Get the kill. Get the clutch that his team needed. And it makes it 3-3 three, three here in this game. So on board with Frenzy. He's 1-6 and six at the moment. Struggle Street is where he's uh, sitting at the moment. But if he can find a kill from this bridge, it's going to be important. And he gets the headshot. So there we go. Start of something for his team as Dazzle Frazzle goes down to West. 
So that's going to be a 3v3 situation. Poseidon actually sitting in the water while he's uh, going to be watching that flank. So definitely an apt place for Poseidon to sit. King of the Seas trying to find a kill from exactly that, but just doesn't seem to be. There we go. Is uh, the water working well for Poseidon as it probably should? Trying to get away, just the cod timing. Not going to work out, and West actually going to get that two-piece, and they should be able to get that defuse. Uh, Slow-mo Slayer's on that one. Going to give it over to West as he's 9-3, and three, and he's going to get a defuse as well. He's got a HCXD in his back pocket, which is uh, also very interesting. 4-3 in favour of Innovate. Here is uh, West today. He's going to find one. Turn around and... That's a nice second kill there on Frenzy. So good play by both teams. Actually, back-to-back, -back, sorry, that has the 4-3 advantage after that round. We'll see whether uh, whether the t they can go 5-3 up here on attack, whether Innovate can come back into the game yet again. They've been uh, hanging on a lot of this one as we'll... Uh, might jump on ball with Zeppa. He's got the scope out, SVG. With the thermal, but doesn't seem to be able to find anyone as Slow Mo Slayer already going down early on in this round, trying to push up fairly quickly. And Westy's going to find one, put some shots out, and he's actually going to weapon swap at the wrong time. As does he see that player's head? He knows he's there, just using that uh, dash to his advantage, trying to get that height advantage. As he does get tagged up, has to back off Zeppa. Nice communication to take down that player up in the top window. And that makes it a 3v3 now. Westy just waiting for the player to push. And push he does. Faken going to take him down. Zeppa actually going to take down Faken in reply. So a 2v2 situation. Poseidon working his way around the outside. Could he go out wide and go all the way through their spawn? He could go into ruins. He's just deciding that now. He's going to go all the way through the spawn now. Deceived. Actually, the 1v2 situation. 21 seconds left. He's got the bomb. He has to get a kill and plant it straight away. We'll be able to get one. Is he going to go out the window? Get this plant down. Looking for the kill. Doesn't have time to plant now. He's got to go for this kill as he's looking to get this bomb down. And Poseidon should be able to just spot him out. Get the one burst, in fact, to the head. And a 4-4 situation now. As Innovate claw their way back into this match. And it's been an exciting S&D so far. We'll see whether uh, these teams can deliver and take it to a round 11 here. Already round 9 coming up here. It's going to be the team of Innovate on the attack. And we'll see whether they can uh, pick up some kills. Here on this side, Faken is going to be 9 and 7, so we'll jump on board with him, see what he's able to do. A gunfight actually going down in mid, it looks like, and Poseidon going to be the first one to get a kill. First blood for him. Faken was able to jump across nicely. And they're going for this bomb plant very, very quickly. Frenzy's on the bomb. Is he going to poke up and get this kill? There's a player there. Puts out the shots. Lots of shots with the Elkar. Dual wield, and he's able to get that kill as well. Zeppa now in a 1v4 situation where we had to find a kill. As he's just waiting, trying to find this player. He does see the gun, so he will be able to just poke out and get the first shots off there to take that kill. Now he's got 19 seconds to get another couple and get the defuse. It really doesn't look very likely. He's probably going to lose this round, but he's just going to try and get the kills. As shots go out, Dazzle Frazzle going to be able to find a lot of shots. And Poseidon getting the uh, flank on, or not the, quite the flank, but the cross to get that kill. There was really... No way that he was going to be able to get out of that situation. But Zeppa with a nice couple of kills. So 5-4, Innovate actually taking the lead now after starting the first three rounds, four rounds in fact, with a 3v4 disadvantage. Let's jump on board with back-to-back. -back. Let's see what they can do. Deceived pushing hard across into mid. Let's see if he comes into contact with this player that is just on the other side. He will, he will see that player push up very, very aggressively. Call that out to his team. There is one in front of him. Takes down Dazzle Frazzle and now is able to push up. Does he see that player? Good shots to get the first tags off, but not going to be able to uh, 
follow up with any more is Wester Daddy actually going to take down Fagin, who tried to go for the sneaky flank underwater and under the bridge, but didn't work out for him as Frenzy. Now sitting near this B-bomb, we'll be able to see a player there, but he just can't contest that. He knows that there's going to be two players there now that the bomb has gone down. So he has to wait it out, wait till that player would have pushed off. He knows that they've probably pushed away now as Poseidon did get taken down. Can he get the shots into the hand? Yes, he can. Nice shots there from Frenzy to take down Zeppa. And he's going to push across towards the bomb. Checks the corner. He doesn't see the player there behind the bomb as he pops up and deceived. Just going to be able to take down that kill very, very easily. And let's see. As he looks across, finds the kill, and brings it to a round 11, which is what we all want to see here in the Does Play Pro Series. This is a semi-final. There's still a grand final to come up after this series, but we are only in map number two of a best of five here. It was the team of back-to-back -back that found the first... Uh, first map there, hard point on fringe it was, and they won that pretty convincingly, 250 to 113. Now we're going to see how these teams go, and a double kill there for Shlomo Slayer as Poseidon's going to be able to pick up one. Frenzy's going to even it up as well to a 2v2 situation. So that Annihilator coming in big there for Shlomo Slayer before he goes down 11 and 6 now. As there is one player on the flank. Is Poseidon going to find him? He was sitting in the water last time to find that player on the flank. Frenzy pushes in. Gets taken down. Zephyrstar going to find the final kill for his team's victory. And 6-5 is the final score here. And they search and destroy. And he waits with the L car and was able to scope in. And that's what won him that gunfight. As it was the dual-wheeled L cars that uh, the uh, other player... Had so it does seem that uh, one is better than two in that situation, and the single single pistol able to clean up the kill six five is the score and Wester Daddy and Shlomo both picking up a whole heap of kills and doing a heap of work for their team Zeppa seven seventy five and was able to pick up the final kill of the game which is always important to round that one out but ten and six and eleven and six there for Westy and Shlomo that's uh, that's huge for their team. And uh, Dazzle Frazzle, 3 and 5. He was, wasn't there for the first four rounds, but still probably needs to uh, step up a little bit there. But did get the nice clutch, and we saw some amazing clutches from the team of Innovate Blue. So their search and destroy game, very, very strong. But they need to win an uplink and a CTF, I believe, now in the next two maps to get to the second S&D which will be the fifth map in this series if we get there. But looking at that scoreboard yet again, 6 and 11, Frenzy just wasn't able to get the job done there in terms of kills. Zeppa, 7 and 10, but as I said, got the final kill, was able to close out the round to see 6 and 7. Really an indifferent game there from him. Neither neither good nor bad, just just thereabouts, holding up his, uh, his end of the deal for his teammates to do the work around him as they were playing extremely well. But guys, we are going to go to a quick break. Before the next map, so don't go anywhere because uh, that match will be coming up very, very soon. So uh, do not go anywhere.
to the beach sign. Mm.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got back-to-back -back versus Innovate Blue here in the Does Play 4v4 Pro Series semi-final here for tonight. It is going to be a 2-0 lead here to back-to-back. -back. And uh, they definitely have, obviously, the lead at the moment, but it was 6-5 there in that search and destroy. So a very, very close game. They dominated on this map. On the hard point, it is going to be Fringe Uplink here for this one. And we will see the Ban and Protects come in. And Overdrive actually being banned here in Uplink, which is going to be a huge thing for these teams. The M8 Protect coming out for uh, Zeppa. The Vespa also being protected by the team of Innovate. And Rapid Fire being taken away by Deceived, making sure that they're not able to get that Rapid Fire Vespa any game time at all. Frenzy is going to take the uh, the 48 Dredge yet again. Using that weapon on this map is fairly important, it seems, for him. The UAV taken away by Wester Daddy. The Shiva being uh, locked away by Faken with that ban, which is a little bit surprising. Haven't seen anyone pull it out as of yet, but definitely something that could come out soon. An extended mag taken away by Shlomo Slayer, which... Yeah, there's not not a lot of counterplay there in that band and protect. They players they uh, they protected what they wanted. They banned what they wanted. Um, don't think anything would have changed a lot. Maybe that extended mags and also the uh, the rapid fire bands coming in, trying to force the players away from that Vespa. Um, but you know, it's still a strong gun with without those attachments, but maybe just trying to uh, make sure that the damage is, isn't too great there with that one. Kinetic Armor, Annihilator, and Scythe coming in for the Innovate squad. Scythe, Kinetic Armor, and Glitch coming out for back-to-back. -back. We've seen the Glitch used to great effect here in this game mode by uh, by Azzy, I believe it was, in the show match that we had a couple of uh, a week ago or so. There on this uh, on this channel as a best of seven. That was some amazing players coming out of him. Faken with the vision pulse, which will be uh, which will obviously be fairly important there in this game mode, especially if uh, if the players are trying to sneak around with that uh, with that satellite drone. Obviously, the it does show up exactly where they are, but it is delayed, so it's uh, it's definitely useful to see which exact route they're going to take there through that one. And slow motion later, active camo. Coming out for him, which uh, will be interesting. Possibly used to get in, grab that ball, jump out, and uh, get back to safety of his team so they can work on trying to get some points through for this one. But definitely a lot slower than the Advanced Warfare Uplink. This one, so I don't think you're going to see a whole heap of caps. And also Overdrive is gone, so neither team can use that one to get a quick two-pointer in. It'll be interesting to see whether uh, either squad can uh, get some points on early and then just try and defend because obviously with that M8 being protected, it will be good for a couple of players to uh, be able to sit back and control those high points on the map. Obviously, you've got the barn at one end, the grannies at the other. They are two very, very important parts of the map. Then you've got the, uh, the train yard, which is uh, very narrow, very straight lines. And an M8 at the end of uh, one of those is absolutely devastating. Also a Scythe, possibly, from Zeppastar, just watching that side of the map. Or Frenzy, for that matter. It's uh, it's going to be deadly, but the players just uh, working out what score streaks, what classes they want to have. So they're just, uh, just getting those ready since the banner protects, working out exactly what they uh, are able to use, depending on those the, the bands that did come out there in that game. As we'll see, Dazzle Frazzle actually not even bother to complete his uh, score streak editing as we get into the game. And we'll see how both of these two teams are going to go on the Innovate side. We are going to have Frenzy, Faken, Dazzle Frazzle and Poseidon. They're 2-0 down to the team of back-to-back. -back. Deceived, Shlomo Slayer, Wester Daddy and Zeppastar. We'll find out which of these teams can uh, come out on top here in the uplink game mode as we get in to the map, hopefully. As we load in and bring up the scoreboard, as you can see, back-to-back -back with the two lights signaling. They've, uh, they've already won two games here in this one. Jumping on board with Frenzy, and we'll find out exactly what he can do early on. The dual-wheeled L-Cars, as we saw last game, 
weren't effective in that final gunfight, but the 48 Dredge definitely was doing some work for him as they do pick off uh, one kill. Just trading off as they watch the flank as a couple of players try and push and some nice uh, shots through the wall there to shut down that flank early. Dazzle Frazzle's actually already on the flank. The pass is going to try and go up, but he does get taken down. Faken is there trying to control these spawns with the 48 Dredge. Does see one go up top. There's one down bottom as well. We'll get shut down there by that one. Poseidon actually sitting right next to the ball. There's a player just jumping up and down, watching the players on the head glitch. Want to watch the flank as well. Knows that there's going to be a player there. Tries to use the movement to his advantage, but just a little bit too slow and gets taken down. Zephyr's able to pick up a two-piece. Faken going down and Dazzle Frazzle now is going to be there. Drone has been reset. Dazzle Frazzle didn't see the player behind the truck on that head glitch. And the pass is going out. It does look like the ball has been... Uh, Try to save as a two piece coming out there. Faken actually picking up one. Poseidon picked up the second one. Wester Daddy picking up two. Zeppo getting another kill as we we'll jump on board with him. It looks like he's got the uplink ball. Just going to go for a throw and gets the first point of the game through for his team of back to back. So two five minute halves, the same as we saw uplink on the Advanced Warfare game. We'll see whether. Zeppa can find the skills as he does have the M8 to himself. It uh, does seem there's also the RK5, as we've also got Flak Jacket, Fast Hands, and Blast Suppressor as his three perks. And it looks like he does have four attachments there on his gun, as he does have the primary gunfighter there for himself as well. Shlomo Schleyer actually going to be a, the one to hold this uh, uplink ball, passing it across to Zeppastar. as Zeppa tries to go in, trying to chase this player. There is a player outside, can't get it, and Frenzy's actually going to take that one away and push across. He's going to reset that one away. And they're going to throw that one outside. So he's just going to sit up top with the dredge, trying to find some kills. But we'll get shut down very quickly there. As it looks like Faken will be able to find one. Looking for a second one. Doesn't seem like he's going to be able to find anyone. As they are just all in hiding at the moment. Where's the daddy? Able to pick up that kill. Dazzle Frazzle trying to find a kill there on the flank. We'll be able to find one. There's a player behind him, though, and that will shut him down. Still 1-0. The uplink ball still in the middle uncontested, but that's going to change. Shlomo is going to get the two-piece, or at least the two assists. Work with his team to work around the back here. Can he get some points on the board? Tries to jump through and does so. Sorry, that was Faken that was able to get the points. It was... Uh, the team of Innovate that get the points on the board there for that one. And that does seem like an easy, easy route to the uplink portal here for the team of Innovate in this first half. They're going to need to capitalize on it, I feel, if they want to uh, continue on in uh, this one. It just seems that little bit closer to the middle of the map and a little bit more cover as they work their way across to that one as Frenzy's actually behind the players, but Poseidon, sorry, it is going to be Westy that shuts him down and gets the kill as we'll uh, jump on board with Shlomo who does have the ball this time. Let's see if he can get past this player that is right there. He actually does. The kinetic armor doing a lot of work for him as he gets through for the two-pointer. And that's one thing that you've got to watch out for here as we see Wester Daddy. He's actually got glitch to his advantage, so he will be able to get out of a sticky situation. If he gets himself in it as he does get shot in the back, not going to be able to glitch away from that one. Maybe deciding not to use it in that situation because his team didn't really have a great position to uh, push up there on the map. But deceived yet again on this flank, trying to get some uh, kills on this side. Shlomo getting a two-piece here is deceived. We'll find one. There's a second player there. He's going to get the two-piece as well, and they should be able to push this ball very, very hard into the enemy spawn as Deceived is working his way around, trying to just slay out into the base. He's going to be able to find two, and that should allow his teammates to go through for a two-pointer. Zappastar does exactly that, and Poseidon's going to shut him down, but not before they get the points on the board. Five to two. And a very, very good play there by the team of back-to-back. -back. Uh, Zeppastar is actually 18 and 10, 1.8 KD so far in this match. Also able to get points on the board for his team. So that's important there for the team of back-to-back, -back, who is 5-2 up, unfortunately. Scoreboard 
having that back to back. As we see West Sadati being able to find that kill for the final of the round, but we still have a half time and we've still got the teams that switching sides ready to get in to this one as uh, they do swap across. And we'll now see whether uh, Innovate can work on this one. Zepistar actually got a scythe out ready for these kills, but it looks like Dazzle Frazzle is going to go on the flank. Does get spotted out, but there is another player there. Frenzy is going to be the one on the hard flank. He's already got into the barn, so he should be able to find some kills here from this position. We'll be able to find one now. He's going to just watch this side as he tries to drop down and take one down. Does get dropped, but Dazzle Frazzle is already through. Can he get through this barn and get these points out? Going to go for the throw and doesn't connect with that one. Does go down. We'll see whether Faking can get anything done here. As he finds one, we'll get taken down fairly quickly there as we'll jump on board with Westy and see what he can do as he gets shot in the back. In fact, there by Frenzy G and Poseidon also getting a headshot. As we see Poseidon trying to find the kills. We'll be able to take down Zeppa. Grabs the ball. There's a player to his left. Probably could have got that kill. Sorry, to the right. Probably could have got that kill, but didn't. As now we see Faken trying to find some kills. We'll be able to get one. Looking for the second one. Doesn't get it as there's a player to his right. There's also a player coming around to his left. But he's not going to worry about him. He needs to worry about that ball. As Frenzy's going to take down Zeppa. Frenzy's going to take down a low one. Faken's going to get the kill as well. So it does look like uh, Dazzle Frazzle is actually going to be the one to push up very hard on this side. It's going to be a 3v3 as they come around the corner. Westy's going to take one. Deceived's going to take another. As it looks like he's going to try and go for the two. Does get it through. 4-5. And they get themselves within one point here. As they can now set up yet again here the team of Innovate. As Dazzle Frazzle goes down. Poseidon. Trying to find those kills. There's one in the middle. Can he get the shots out? Doesn't quite as he goes down here as Frenzy now pushing up. Sees a player there. We'll be able to take a couple. And Dazzle Frazzle also picks up one. So they're able to push up now here with the, uh, with the satellite drone. We'll see if we can find who exactly has got that one. Faken is the one with the ball. Looks like he's just going to go for the one-point throw just to even that one up. He was checking to see if anyone would shoot at him. He did get tagged, so he's going to have to throw that one away for the single point. But that does get them back to uh, level pegging with this team of back-to-back, -back, which has been very, very strong and already got back-to-back -back maps so far in this game. See if they can get the uh, the third one in the series. As we'll see, Fake can just slide away. Know that there's a player to his right, so he's just going to try and survive while his teammates slide out but had to wait a little bit too long as Westy and Deceived both picking up kills. So Frenzy trying to go around the corner doesn't quite as Dazzle Frazzle shots go out. Doesn't get that kill just gonna wait but it does actually look like Deceived is able to go through for two points, was able to get round the back. And no one was really in a position to chase. They were all tagged up. They all had to wait for their health to regen. They couldn't contest out. And that was just good play by back-to-back to, back to get some points on the board. Shlomo is going to try and do exactly the same yet again. Just jumps over the top of one and gets the kill in the end on Dazzle Frazzle as well to make it a... Uh, five to nine, a four point difference between the two teams. And now the slaying power comes out of this back to back squad. Slow Mo Slayer is actually in the base. He's waiting for someone to rotate around. Will he be able to find this kill? As he knows that they're going to be trying to run away. We'll be able to find one. There's two players around him as he does actually have a guardian to set up ready for this uh, this next one. If he can set that up around mid, maybe even in that corner, just watching that mid part so they can't get on that ball. If they can just sit on this lead of four points for the rest of the game. West is still has control of uh, a glitch specialist ready for himself. Uses kinetic armor there, does deceive. Unable to get the kills there as he will be able to find one point. 
point, and it looks like Faken was actually able to get a two-pointer go, to go through for his team. Poseidon looking for these kills with the Annihilator. We'll be able to find one. Finds two. Can he find the third? Misses a shot. Misses a second shot. Misses the third. As a teammate is there to help him out, he will be able to find another kill. So they've got 25 seconds left to push this one. It's going to be Dazzle Frazzle that has the ball. Wall running along. Does have the armor. Does get taken down. Faken is there. We'll be able to find a kill. Can he get the second kill? Tries to reload. Had to reload both sets of weapons. Gets taken down. Dazzle Frazzle, 11 seconds. He had to get on that straight away. Couldn't do so. And back to back are going to hold on just here in this uplink to sweep the series 3-0. But definitely a, uh, a series that was not by any means a whitewash there. Very close matches. And a 7-9 to nine uplink. Only one capture between the two teams. 6-5 in the S&D. The hard point was definitely one-sided. 2-10 to 113 in favour of back-to-back. -back. But I've got to say, Innovate definitely looking strong there for that one. But back-to-back were just too good on the day. 3-0 for them to take out that semi-final. And now they're going to head over into that grand final. I'll check the bracket to see who they will be playing up. They're going to be uh, playing against either Pickups or Team Defiance. A bracket hasn't updated for me as of yet, so we'll find out exactly what's going on over in that game. But uh, for now, guys, just uh, after a series like that, definitely need a little bit of a break. So we're going to go to a quick one, hopefully not too long, but the grand final will be coming up next. So guys, don't go anywhere because uh, if the grand final is anything like that series, then we are in for a treat here in the Pro Series 4v4 on PlayStation 4. So guys, do not go anywhere because the grand final will be coming up right after this.